Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending August 3rd. First up, this article was sent in by my friend Papa22, Papa the number two, and then TWO. Thank you for sending this in. Motorcycle helmets getting first heads up display. This is actually a motorcycle helmet called Review, and they're, what they're working on is they're working on a heads up display right now. They have another gadget on the motorcycle that I'll, on the helmet that I'll tell you about in a second, but they're working on a heads up display mostly right now for the MotoGP racer crowd, but they have um, a helmet that is set up really cool right now that's got a rear view mirror type of deal and it's optical. It's completely, there's a, a part on the top of the motorcycle that kind of looks like, uh, you know, one of those uh, weird kind of mohawk haircuts. So it, it doesn't make the helmet look really darky, but it does look a little bit different than an ordinary helmet. But I still think it looks uh, pretty decent. And what it does, it gives you a full panoramic rear view. It's uh, the optics kind of guide the light from the back of the helmet all the way to the front and then there's an adjustable visor kind of deal up at the top there where you can glance up and you can get a full view of everything behind you. I'll put a picture up of uh, what it looks like here. So anyway, um, these are available right now as far as if you want it just with the, the rear view optical device. They're available even on Amazon. I checked them out. They're about 399 bucks, so um, not a real horrible price to have to deal with and especially for the extra safety feature it could give you for doing something like that but they're working on the future of possibly doing a heads-up display and uh, uh, if that does come out later on and uh, somebody can send me the link to that or if I end up catching it when it does come out I, I think that's probably we're looking at maybe a, a year or more in the future before that comes out for the average motorcycle rider uh, they call it the very first one too I don't know it depends on the competition with the other Russian outfit remember I had that one Russian outfit with the real huge helmet that was developing a heads-up display too so probably and I'd say in another year or two there's gonna be a lot of them hitting the market with that kind of a, of a thing it's just gonna be price competition from there on out and this next one is from 1954 shadow enthusiast 3d prints out an Aston Martin DB4 this guy had a little $499 solo doodle printer he's from New Zealand his name is Ivan Sinich and uh, he wants to create a 1961 Aston Martin, and he's doing a pretty good job so far, if you look at the picture here. Um, basically, he's just making part by part and putting them together as a shell. And the donor car is a, the, the car body that it's going to be built on is a Nissan Skyline. So that's going to be the car that this is built on. I think with 3D printers getting a reasonable price like that, when they're getting down to that kind of price, you're going to see all kinds of creativity and stuff like that. Uh, along with probably, unfortunately, lawsuits, too. I'm wondering if uh, he's going to have to contend. I think since he's building it for personal use, he's probably pretty much immune from lawsuits for something like that, as long as you don't manufacture it for someone else and, uh, you know, uh, try to pawn it off as a real Aston Martin or something like that. But a, a nice, inexpensive way to create one for yourself if you'd really like to. So I think that's kind of cool. Thank you, 1954 Shadow, for, uh, uh, for sending that in. Uh, this next one, if you're an astronomy buff like I am, this is kind of like the once-in-a-lifetime chance to see something like this. I missed this. This was clear back in March of this year. I didn't even find the article on this until recently. I don't know how I ended up missing it. But a meteorite crashed on March 17th, slamming into the lunar surface at 55,000 miles per hour, created a flash bright enough to be seen with the naked eye. They say the crater it created on the moon was 65 feet wide. The people that actually saw this only saw it in the video. I guess they're taking videos of all different parts of the moon just to be able to see what crashes into the moon and how bright it is and everything like that. But they say if somebody happened to be standing out looking to, at the moon at this time, it was bright enough that it could have been seen with the naked eye. And uh, So this is something I, I wish I would uh, get a chance to see something like that. They estimate the size of the rock was about one foot wide and about 88 pounds so to me I'm thinking it's probably mostly an iron meteor rather than a, a, a rocky one to be to be only a foot across and weigh that much that pretty much what it has to be what it is um, ever since I read an article about hundreds of years ago I guess there was one documented sighting based on an interview of a guy back uh, I think it might have even been around the Middle Ages or something like that where they actually interviewed a guy and it's written documentation that someone actually saw something crash into the moon and since then I've never seen any reports myself of an actual human being witnessing this but at least they got this on cameras and uh, as usual all the links to everything will be below in the description and finally this is just something kind of amusing if you're into Godzilla stuff and there's the new Godzilla movie coming out there was a Godzilla toy, I think more than 20 years ago, they had a, a Godzilla toy where you blew in the tail and bubbles came out the mouth. Well, somebody decided to Photoshop this uh, actual 
Godzilla toy and make it into a fire breathing toy where you would have the kids put the lighter fluid in the in the mouth and then you would blow out and real flames would go out you know uh, sure like nothing's gonna go wrong with that kind of a toy but sure sure would be cool as a kid to have something like that wouldn't it I mean not that your parents would probably let you use it but I just thought that was kind of amusing and funny to to kind of stick in there too especially with the the new movie coming up and I'm hoping in the new movie all I really want to see and I'm really hoping for is the new Godzilla doesn't look like a T-Rex I hope it looks like the real original Godzilla or at least close enough to the original Godzilla I remember as a kid so anyway that's it for this week's report take care everybody I will catch you next week